Vermont State Police have teamed up with a Texas business that specializes in forensic testing to try and find new leads in a missing persons case that has gone unsolved now for more than 16 years. Local 22's Devin Bates is in the newsroom tonight with more. Well, Lauren, this is a case that still gets new tips on a weekly basis, but leads have continued to fall short of any significant breakthrough. That being said, there's now hope that cutting edge DNA testing could help explain what happened to Brianna Maitland. On the night of March 19, 2004, 17-year-old Brianna Maitland left her shift at the Black Lantern Inn in Montgomery, driving her 1985 Oldsmobile 88. The following morning, her car was found backed into an abandoned building about a mile from the restaurant. Brianna hasn't been seen since that night. Someone out there knows what happened to her, and it's time to come forward. Detective Angela Baker took over the case four years ago, and her work with the Vermont State Police Cold Case Unit has consisted of combing through enormous file boxes looking for any shred of information. Like many unsolved cases, that's when DNA came into play. So the strategies are brand new. It's emerging technology that is happening with genetic genealogy. So it's not something that we've taken advantage of in the past. So what these companies can do for us is they can take the DNA um, and scientifically provide us with links that we don't already have, that we're not able to make. And so what it does, it gives us a direction for our investigation. State police are partnering with Authorum, a Houston-based business that specializes in forensic testing. A fundraising drive has been launched to cover the costs of testing, and the company's director of case management explained how their technology does what traditional investigative resources can't. They bring us evidence, and we return an answer. So when they're trying to generate an ID of a perpetrator of crime or a victim or just unidentified remains. Uh, there's a traditional methodology that law enforcement uses where they go to CODIS with a DNA profile and try to get a match. Um, if they're unsuccessful in doing that, then we can help them generate an ID through forensic testing and genealogy. It remains to be seen whether this will be the breakthrough that solves one of Vermont's longest unsolved disappearances, but having a new avenue to explore is always welcome. I think it's a huge morale boost anytime you can use some new, some new uh, scientific technology to enhance the case and to enhance the investigation. We haven't been here yet with this investigation, so this is new territory for us that we're pretty excited about. Now, I spoke with Brianna's father, Bruce, on the phone tonight briefly. He said he's encouraged by this collaboration. The lab work takes roughly 12 weeks, and then the genealogy work begins. That can be anywhere from a few hours to several months. In the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.